Well, this design features the use of hardwood boards to retain a, a garden bed area, and there's an extensive area of lawn below. This is a design for Western Australia, and hardwood is available in, si in various sizes, 200 by 100 by 2400. And I'd like to show that you can use the multi-line tool to draw hardwood sleepers in one go. That requires us to format the multi-line tool first and we come here to multi-line styles. We could have a new one. We could give it a name. It bobs up as style one. So let's call this 200 hardwood and we're able to set the offsets simply by clicking in here if we wanted to lay the hardwood sleeper using the 200 millimeter uh, edge showing we could say that'll be a hundred the offset in one direction and then the other direction will be a minus a hundred and we're okay now we let need to make that style current and the scale here applies to a line type that you might apply to the multi-line so we'll OK that so our current multi-line style has been set and now we can use it so it's draw multi-line these come in lengths of 2400 so we can start here I've got polar on, so let's draw down in, the, in that direction, 2400. And then we could go, if we were working at an angle of 45, we could just type a half length sleeper, could go in, and then we can come across back here, 2400. And we'll enter. Now you'll notice that there's no slice through there, no end capping and that can be fixed by going to multi-line styles and just tick we want to sit let's say we want to display the joints and we'll start and then we we don't need a bulge at the start and we'll go okay can you see now that the multi-line is capped and the joints are showing so if you need to draw a retaining wall made of hardwood sleepers the multi-line tool is an easy way to do that.